So I just finished watching the race. It literally finished like, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. Um, I must say, wow, I mean, for Ferrari, it's just not looking that good, I guess. Now, I'm not that angry. I'm actually probably more disappointed. And um, I, I think that now it is, we are at a point that in this season, I do think Red Bull are stronger. I think they probably are going to win the championship, and I do think it is Max Verstappen that is going to do it. I still think Ferrari have the pace. They are still very competitive, but these mistakes are just like you can see from the reaction of Charles Leclerc after the race. I mean, he just seems like he just doesn't he just doesn't really have much interest in answering the questions about like what's going on. He just seems very unmotivated by it all, kind of let down a little bit. And I guess that's how all Ferrari fans feel at the moment. Now, when you're in a championship fight, we know that it is very important to get things right. I mean, Monaco, for example, the pit situation, whatever happened there, that was a big moment. And I think that it kind of does raise the question again, have Ferrari learnt their lesson on strategy and reliability is a big one. We know Red Bull have suffered from some reliability problems, but I think Ferrari are worse off in terms of reliability problems because I do think Red Bull are stronger and I think they are the more complete package when you look at the car. Ferrari haven't won a championship since 2007. It's been such a long time for a team that is so massive, so historic, so successful, and so good. If we look at some of the retirements today, four of the retired cars from my memory were Ferrari power units, and I mean that just says a lot about what's kind of going on at the moment. I feel like two engine failures from Ferrari themselves in the same race is just, it's just a bit too much. I mean it's just like, come on, like it's just... <laughs> It's really just not working. Now, if we look at Spain as well, I mean, it's just, it's just so incredibly frustrating and just, just the vibes aren't there at the moment. Now, I tweeted yesterday that I, I really do like Charles Leclerc's qualifying strength. I think uh, his, his qualifying has been a big highlight of his career so far and I wanted to see him convert them into race wins because ultimately that's what matters but at the end of the day like it's this now like what what's kind of happening isn't even really Charles Leclerc's fault sure he didn't get the best start but either way he had an engine failure so he was kind of doomed from the beginning sort of obviously Ferrari going to investigate this and probably make sure or at least I hope that this will not happen again. But it is just, I understand, like I'm seeing a lot of Ferrari fans get really upset on social media. Um, I was reading on Instagram before. I mean, there's a lot of angry Ferrari fans at the moment because this is the best season. This is the best chance for Ferrari, I think, to win the championship because I actually think Ferrari had a better chance at winning the championship this year than next year. And that is because... Mercedes could figure out their problems. They could be up there. A few other teams might kind of get more in line with the regulations and improve. It could be a bit more competitive. Now, that doesn't mean we're going to have all these teams fighting for the championship, but I just think Red Bull, Ferrari, Mercedes are obviously that top tier, the top three teams. And obviously, Mercedes, they're not going to win the championship this year. But I think next year, they're going to be very good. They're going to improve. They might even be up there. They'll get it right, I think, in my opinion. And I think this year, it's their best chance. Because if you look at it that way, I mean, it's Red Bull that they're competing with. They don't have Mercedes really to worry about. So reliability is crucial. It's going to matter massively. And as we can see, it has cost Ferrari big time. I mean, looking at Ferrari now compared to looking at Ferrari after the Bahrain Grand Prix, I mean, it's completely different, I think. I, I feel like we're dealing with two completely different uh, teams and what form they are in. It's disappointing because I don't want Ferrari to be, you know, that team that's like, oh, typical Ferrari, like they're a meme sort of thing. I don't, I don't want it to be like that because, you know, I, I really do support this team and always have. So it's just very disappointing. You know, you, you want to dot your I's, cross your T's, get things right, stay on top of things, you know, um, not have these issues, these hiccups, because, you know, when you're up against Max Verstappen, Sergio Perez and Red Bull, who are just a great team, I mean, it's... <sighs> 
it's not gonna end very well. I guess that's all I have to say. I mean, follow me on Instagram and Twitter for more of my opinions, which I tweet, obviously, during the race a lot as well. So make sure you go and follow me over there and uh, join in the conversation as well. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload and you won't miss a thing. And with all that being said, thank you very much for watching.